What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys have been having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe now. Jesus is watching you. So I'm going to be showing you guys a clip from this pastor in Baltimore, Maryland and how he one day was holding church services, normal day, you know, talking about God. Hallelujah! 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 And then one day, bang, bang, bang. So he's like, you guys are crazy. This is unconstitutional. That's what happened. And I thought it was important to share this video because I think it should encourage more pastors to be able to stand up and know their rights. First of all, I know my rights. No, you don't. That's the problem. And second, to have the courage enough to be able to stand up. We will stand. Go ahead. If they throw us in jail. Go ahead. We will go gladly. Go ahead. And then I'm going to talk about this article that came out between the Supreme Court, Gavin Newsom, and the local churches over in uh, Los Angeles area. And they were like, And so that's what happened. But I'll go in more detail. Here we go. The pastor says they didn't break any laws, but police say they aren't following the governor's order to keep gatherings to a minimum. WMAR 2 News' Eddie Kadem was at the church today and shows us why the pastor believes keeping the doors open is the right thing to do. The pastor says it's their First Amendment right to keep holding services Amen. and that they are essential. He says they're following all the CDC guidelines and that people are staying six feet apart. Driving around, you'll see lots of signs canceling church services or moving to an online format. The sign hasn't changed at Friendship Baptist Church in Northeast Baltimore. On Sunday, Reverend Alvin Gwynn Sr. says there were 10 people in the church when ten this people, unexpected company arrived. We're not supposed to be on this church property. Leave. We had approximately eight to nine police officers showed up and five patrol cars right in the middle of my sermon, believe it or not. Uh, my security stopped the police officers at the door Keep of the church and, M, and told them that they could not come into, no into the church. He says he dismissed the church members and talked to the sergeant. I said, why are you here? He said, did you read the governor's order? I said, I know the governor's order. It said 10 people or less. I have 10 people in here. So tell me why are you here? He says that all faith-based organizations are, are in partnership here? with CDC and Homeland Security during pandemics like this and that they are essential partners to them. Feel happy back in crisis worship? You feel happy doing this? This makes you glad? Hmm? This is the house of God. According to the police report, officers came by twice before the church was emptied. Why the governor is so insistent upon like closing the church down on Sundays, or restricting worship, restricting the size of the gathering in the church is totally against the First Amendment of our Constitution, which says Congress shall make no laws for, for prohibiting the free worship and exercise or the, or the free assembly, peaceful assembly of people in the United States. That includes the church. The police report states that the pastor said he doesn't plan on canceling any future services. Today, he said he's going to consider it throughout the week and make a decision for a Sunday. In Northeast Baltimore, Eddie Kadem, WMAR 2 News. So there you go. I just thought it was really interesting to talk about that a little bit. And that pastor did an amazing job of breaking down his constitutional rights. I mean, he knew it right off the top of his head. He was quick thinking and was able to cite it. So... I think that was really important and people have to know that so they can be able to stand up for that so and now over to this other one right here all right so I'm gonna read some of this to you guys the US Supreme Court on Thursday delivered a blow to California Governor Gavin Newsom Bam! right in his gut pandemic related ban on indoor religious services siding with the church uh, they defied the policy and challenged it as unconstitutional religious discrimination Unconstitutional. The decision followed a similar action by the justices on November 25th that bad Christian and Jewish houses of worship that challenged New York State restrictions in coronavirus hotspots. So I don't know if you guys saw, but a while ago this happened in New York, and so the synagogues uh, were defying uh, Governor Cuomo's restrictions. <laughs> Let's, let's keep going here. 
the justices with no no noted dissent set aside a lower court ruling that rejected a challenge to Newsom's policy by Harvest Rock Church. Uh, don't know where that is. Blah, blah, blah. Which was when Harvest Rock Church first sued. Look, the thing about that that really bothers many people, many Christians, is that not everything was shut down. You have the big retail stores, grocery stores that were open. And you have swarms of people coming in, buying their whatever, you know. Come on, man. Come on. Take note of that. This has happened in New York. And so thank God the Supreme Court sided with the churches, okay? And the fact that it had to even go to the Supreme Court, that the local courts here in the state was able to just be like, okay, we don't care that it's unconstitutional. Are you stupid? That should scare a lot of you, you know? Uh, but anyways, I figured that it was a win for us Christians out there. We need those wins. There are going to be more of these types of events going on in the future, right? It speaks about it in the Bible. One thing we have to be encouraged is that God knew all these things were coming. So don't be afraid about it when it is right in front of you, right? So God already saw it. So just have faith, encourage, and stand up for what they know to be right and true. Anyways, hope you guys like this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate all you guys supporting this channel. And with that being said, peace.